Hey, what's going on everyone? This is iReviews back with another video and we just have a couple of new releases for iOS 26. We had the new public beta 3 release yesterday and also Apple did re-release iOS 26 beta 6 for the devs which comes with a new build number which of course is the same build number as the one for the third public beta of iOS 26. Now really interesting just like three days after the release of the first of the sixth dev beta they do a re-release but of course even though it has been a re-release I still think we are on the weekly schedule when it comes to releasing new betas of iOS 26. And in this video we're going to talk about these new betas and the upcoming betas and why I believe now is the time for you to actually update to iOS 26 beta. Now this right here is the new release iOS 26 beta 6 the re-release and as you can see it is still really really big on size it's about 10 gigabytes here on the iPhone 15 Pro Max and it should be about the same on most devices of course it always differs between different devices but it should be quite big in size I don't know what's happening but all these updates are coming at around 10 gigs so it's really interesting probably it has something to do with the liquid glass design and this is the new build number which again is the same build number for the public beta and the dev beta 6 so 23 a 5318 f this is the new build number for these updates now of course these updates are amazing if you have been following my videos, I've talked about the 6th beta, the 5th beta, and the 6th beta are amazing. If, especially the last one, the 6th beta, Apple has done an amazing job with all the animations. You can see how fast they are. It's actually really, really good. And just like using a device on this version, going back to a device on iOS 18 with the, like the old design and with the slow animations, it's a totally different, like a totally different experience. And that's why I think you should actually update to iOS 26 beta right now if you haven't already. Now, here are my reasons why I believe this is the time. So again, it's very, very stable. Like it's especially the sixth beta, it's amazing, very stable, very fast. And you won't and get like the crashes, the glitches that you usually get with these betas. This one is different. It's very stable and it performs as it should. You can even take a look here at the Geekbench scores for the iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is the latest beta, 2,962 on the single core score, 7,645 on the multi-core score. You can see the screenshots for the past few tests. They all have done amazing. Great scores, really, really good performance. So I don't think your device will perform any better on iOS 18 than it will on the new iOS 26 beta. And of course, the next reason would be the liquid glass design. It's just amazing. It looks really, really good. So just take a look at some of the effects that you get here on different pictures. Like you can see this liquid glass design effect right there and everywhere on iOS, the reflection that you get on your icons, of course, the transparent icons and everything else. It's just basically on another level. So when you update or you use a device with iOS 26 and the new liquid glass design, you cannot go back to the old one because it will seem very, very outdated. And of course, this is one of the reasons why iOS 26 beta is so popular. This has also been reported by Apple that this beta is the most popular beta of iOS, which is of course amazing. Now the only downside for this update might be the battery, which is okay, but it's not the best ever. Hopefully it will be improved the next weeks, but again, it, it is okay. You can of course live with it and it will take you through the day. So if you have 100% battery, it will last you for the day. It's not a problem, but of course it's not the best battery life that I've gotten on this device, even though now the device and the battery is getting old. It's about 90% battery health here. So of course you can expect, actually it's 89 now, so you can expect it to be a bit bad when it comes to battery life, but it's not the worst ever so this would be okay for you to actually use it on daily basis so these are the reasons why i believe you should actually update your device to the new ios 26 right now and not wait for the public release 
Now, the reason I'm doing this video, why I tell you that it is okay to actually update, even now that we have, of course, the public beta, so we're currently on the public beta 3, so it's very, very safe. But if you decide to update, always make sure that you do a backup of your device before actually updating, because nothing will most likely go wrong, but it might go wrong. So you make sure you back up your device before you do that. So of course, another reason is the release to the public of iOS 26. That will be about a month from now. So with this new update, a lot of people actually want to try it out, but they're maybe afraid to install a beta on their device. So again, it's a month from now and you don't want to wait another month, you can go ahead and update. So we're currently on the 15th of August, the 15th of September. So exactly about a month from now, should be the date that Apple releases iOS 26 to the public. So if you don't want to wait another month, I think it's okay for you to update right now to the new iOS 26. So that's basically it for this video, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash that like button and subscribe for more. And I'll see you on the next one.